and then we'll go out and you guys will sign those helmets for the family that we send to them, okay? This Sunday, the Panthers have a unique opportunity to honor some of America's fallen heroes. It was earlier this week when head coach Ron Rivera addressed the team to tell them they'd be playing for more than just each other. You will wear the initials of a fallen soldier in the back of your helmet. Shortly after coach's message, defensive end Coney Ely learned of the soldier he'd be playing for. Senior airman Bryce Powers. Words can never describe one's loss. You know, he allows us to play this game, so I'm going to go out there and give him my all. And just like any other game, but it's, it's more meaningful this week because of, in honor of him and in honor of the, you know, the United States. Bryce died after the injuries he sustained in a car accident while stationed in Japan. He was just 21 years old. The phone rang uh, a little bit before 7 a.m. and I knew that it was Bryce because that's when he called me. And when I answered the phone, it wasn't him. It was a female's voice telling me that he had been in a horrible accident and basically was on a respirator and they didn't think he would live through the night. I almost thought I heard a thud on the floor. I don't know if the phone hit the floor or Kathy or I don't know. It, it just all went crazy. So I knew I had to get her packed, get the paperwork, get the flight. So I was working on all that. So we got her. My job was to get her ready to go. He looked like he was sleeping. And I just kept waiting for him to wake up. He just looked perfect. Up until the end, I really believed he was going to get better. Bryce knew from an early age that he wanted to serve his country. You know, I spent 11 years myself serving in the Air Force as an ammo troop. He got to thinking about that. He spent four years at uh, high school in ROTC program. And the more he got into the military way of life, the more he wanted to serve. So he said, Dad, I want to be just like you. And that, that's a good honor right there. Bryce's parents aren't the only ones affected by the loss. His younger sister Maddie saw firsthand how it nearly shattered their family. You know, I was still a kid when my brother was at first injured and then passed away and now I'm in college and none of my friends know who my brother was. And whoever I'm gonna marry one day, he's not gonna ever have met my brother. And it's very weird to think about and that in itself has created a new wound. And so time certainly doesn't heal. It gets a little bit easier, it gets a little bit different. But then you think, again, like people aren't thinking of him, people don't know him, and that in itself is its own wound. Bryce is buried at Arlington National Cemetery, but his spirit is right at home. No one should ever be forgotten, and they should always live in your heart. I made the cross for him and put his plaque on it. I want to display that. I want people to know when you come to this place, there's a fallen hero here. The soldier and me kneeling to the cross to show our way of all those who have fallen that we haven't forgotten you. And then we have this saluting soldier out there facing the flag, and that's his actual size at the time of death, and we had that specially made, which is very special to us. I love yeah, we this. got a nice memorial here. He'll never be forgotten. We see him every day. And all who come here will always know him as well. On Sunday, the Powers family will be one of 46 families recognized on the field in honor of their loved ones. I'm going to be happy, sad, mad, glad. You know, I'm going to be teary eyed. I'm going to be like, that ball hits that goal line, that'll probably win I'll cry. Because they did one for him. You just think how amazing that they even care, that they even care and that they want to be a part. Putting somebody's initials on their helmet, the NFL, I mean, that's just so amazing. It's, it's huge. It's huge.